God, you're good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Here we are again. Preaching to you by way of video. And I'm thankful that we do have this Amen. technology that we can do this. Amen. Amen. You're right. uh, to, to stay in contact with you. Uh, miss the church family. Miss worshiping together. But uh, God is going to get us through this. I, I, I pray that, that you, you will remain full of hope, full of faith. And full of praise. Yeah, right. Amen. Good. Don't let Satan stop your praise. All right. Amen. Amen. I think uh, Brother Ben in his message Wednesday night and video Wednesday night, he preached about praise. Uh, and that's one of the main things is that we don't get to the place that Satan stops our worship right. and stops our praise. Right. Amen. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll be preaching tonight. The title simply of my message is Worshiping in the Wilderness. Right. Yeah. Worshiping in the Wilderness. Uh, I, I'll be reading from Psalm 63, verses 1 through 8. And uh, just uh, to uh, let me read that, that uh, ver verses 1 and 2, and then said, O God, Thou art my God. Early will I seek Thee. My soul thirsteth for Thee. My flesh longeth for Thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is to see Thy power and Thy glory so as I have seen Thee in the sanctuary. Praise God. Yes. So, When you look at this, when you look at this in, in Psalm 63 and, and, and the commentary uh, about Psalm 63, this was a, a psalm of David that he, he uh, wrote in the wilderness of Judah. In the wilderness. Now you've got to understand and, and, and that the word wilderness is a desolate place. A desert, a wasteland. But Judah means celebrate, to revere or worship with extended hands, All right. yeah. or praise. Uh -huh. So, in, in a sense, when David wrote this Psalms, you know, in the wilderness of Judah, you might say, in, in a sense, you could say. That David had reached a dry place in his worship. Oh, hmm. a dry place. You ever been there? Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, come on. You, you, you. If we're not careful, this time that we're going through now, uh, you know, we're all in this together because none of us has ever experienced right. this. That's right. Right. That's right. right. But in this time that we're going through now, uh, it, it would be. It would be easy for us just to to, to give up, to lose hope, uh -oh. and, and let our let our worship die down. Uh -oh. David, he was a man of war, so he was he was a, a away from the sanctuary a lot. Right. He found himself in the wilderness, in this dry place, in the wilderness of Judah. He found himself, uh, you know, Judah meaning praise. He found himself in, in a dry place in his worship. Mm. Right. Because at one time he even had to hide from Saul. He would hide in caves. He would hide in the wilderness. He would hide in the mountains. Uh, you know, uh, getting away from Saul. But he, he was in, in in battles and in war, and and, and he couldn't. <coughs> excuse me. He couldn't go to the house of God like like he longed to and like he wanted to. Right, come on. So he began to write, and if you look at it, he said, Oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. And then he said, My my soul thirsted for thee. Why? Because he was in a dry place. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land 
where no water is. Mm. He's, in a, he's in a dry place in his worship. He said, look, but look what he said. To see thy power and thy glory as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. And the right. sanctuary is a place of worship. All right. All right. Sanctuary is a place where they gather together to worship. He said, he said, uh, he said, uh, he said, I'm longing to. See, he said, my th soul thirsted for thee. I, I, I long to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Uh, I don't know about you, but but church, uh, 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 come on now. We hadn't gathered together as a, as a church family and, and that I'm to the place that I'm longing for that again. Yes. Right. Yes. I, I'm longing uh, for for the worship of the saints of Amen. God. Amen. I'm longing for the fellowship of the saints yeah. of God. But I know even even though we can't gather together as as a as a body inside the sanctuary of God, we've still got to worship Him. We've still got to right. praise Him right. and try to uh, drink from the well as often right. as we can. There you go, Lord. But he reached the dry place in his praise and in his worship because Judah celebrated uh, to revere worship with extended hands to praise. But look, look what, but, but, and see, he knows that. Look what he's saying. He said, I long to see thy power and thy glory so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. He, he said, God, I know how you move. Yes. I know the power that you have. I know how you work. He said, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Yeah. He knew even though he was in the wilderness, he still had to praise God. Right. 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 He still had to praise God. He said, thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. You know, some people say, well, why do y'all raise your hands all the time? You know, in, in your praise and worship, why do you lift your hands? Well, it's the Word of God. Right. That's one of our ways to worship. That's one of the ways that the Bible gives Amen. us to worship Him. Amen. He said, Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. He said, My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. He said, when I remember thee, look, look now, look, look what he's saying. He said, when I remember thee upon my bed, in other words, wherever he was at, in the wilderness, right. in that cave, when he, was, when he was sleeping, when he lay down to sleep, he said, when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. He wasn't in the sanctuary. Right. 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 He wasn't. He longed to be in the sanctuary, but, right. but he wasn't there. But he said, when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, he said, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. David knew that wherever he was at, God yes. was there. Right. Yes. Whether it was in the wilderness, uh -huh. upon his bed at night in a cave somewhere hiding for Saul, he knew that wherever he was at, that God was right. with him. Right. Yes. He was abiding and he was hiding under the shadow of his wings. He said, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. In other words, God, I'm going to praise you anyway. Right. What are you saying? I said, when we reach that place in our worship that it seems like we're in a, in a dry place, when we reach that dry place, in our worship and praise, what do we do? We worship anyhow. Right. There you go. That's pretty That's simple. Right. We go. worship anyhow. Amen. We keep on worshiping. We keep on praising Him. And He said in verse 8, He said, My soul falleth hard after thee. My soul falleth hard after thee. And I'm going to say something that may, may make some people mad. Uh-oh. Go ahead. I hope after this pandemic is over, over that you're still following as hard after God as uh -oh. you are now. All right. Come on, man. 
He said, My soul falleth hard after thee, and thy right hand upholdeth me. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. So, we still got to worship in the wilderness. That's right. I said, we still got to worship in the wilderness regardless of the circumstances that surround us. You still got to worship. Right. You still got to do what you were created for. Praise God. Praise God. But there did come a time in one of David's psalms there, there did come a time in, in Psalms 122 and verse 1 that simply said, David began to write, and he said, I was glad. Yes. I was glad. Yes. Right. Mm. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the yes. house of the Lord. Yeah. Church, I'll be glad. Yes. Amen. I'll be glad. Yes. God forgive us if we ever acted like it was a chore to get up and come to the house of God. Yes. God forgive us if we acted like we was doing God a favor when we came to His come house to worship. Come on, come, on, come, on, come on now. But we ought to be like David and say, "I was glad when they said right, unto me, right. let us go into the house of the Lord.' And we're getting back. We're going to get back to that place. We are. Right. We are. This is going to pass, and we're going to get back to worshiping." Him in, as the Bible says, in spirit and in truth. Come on. Praise God. Look at Psalms 126. The Bible said, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, and, and Zion represents the church. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Uh, whether you realize it or not, this, this this coronavirus has got us held captive. That's right. No doubt. It's got us held captive. We're, we're in a strange land. It's often, you know, oftentimes Israel would find themselves held captive in a strange land. That's right. Uh -huh. Amen. And they would have to repent and return to God. Hmm. But David said that when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, in other words, when he turned it around, we were like them that dream. He said, Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue was singing. And they said among the heathen, The Lord had done great things for them. Praise God. Praise God. When we began to worship and praise God for the great things He's already done in our life, He'll see in greater things. Right. No doubt. And he said, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Hold on, church, joy is coming in the morning. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him while we out there while, while while we're in this captivity sow a little seed all right sow a little seed now I, i'm thankful for those that are doing that you know put a, maybe an, an encouraging word an encouraging word on facebook and said again an encouraging word on. on facebook don't be guilty of putting anything negative on Facebook. But an encouraging word, right. something that would make somebody smile, right. something that would lift somebody up, something that would lift up the name of Jesus. But he said, He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. We've got an opportunity by showing our faith, right. not our fear, mm -hmm. by showing our faith in the one true God. Yes. Amen. Amen. No doubt. We've got an opportunity to reach somebody. And I want to leave you tonight with one more psalm, part of the psalms. 
And I read this the other night, you know, for one of the services we had before we had to close everything down. But I want to read this again and leave you with this encouraging word again from Psalms. Psalms 91. He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right. I will say of the Lord, He's my refuge, my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrows that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall by thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes thou shalt behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague Come thy, thy dwelling. Just faith, church. Just faith. Amen. Faith in the Word of God. Have faith in the Word yes. of God. Yes. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Don't let Satan rob you of your worship and of your praise. Praise God. Keep on praising. Keep on hoping. Keep on believing. Yes. Because God's going to come through for us, children. Every time. Amen. As one scripture says, our Lord will come and save us. Yes. And He will. He will. Lord bless you. Hope to see you soon. And let me, before they sing this last song, let me make this announcement about our next service, uh, which will, next Sunday is Easter Sunday. And Easter Sunday, we're going to try to have a parking lot service. We're going to do our best best that we can, and we're going to arrange the, the vehicles the best that we can so you come on, uh, sit in your vehicle, and I'm going to make, make this and ask you to please stay in your vehicle. We won't be here but about an hour or less. Please stay in your vehicle when you come to this uh, a parking lot service. And uh, we'll have an we'll Easter service, and we'll have a, have a great time that morning, and, and hopefully worship, worship God in uh, and, 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 and a special way, because even if, even if that's all we can do, it'll be good to get together then. Amen. Praise God. So pray much one for another. Lift one another up in prayer. Pray that God stays this virus. And, and again next next Sunday morning, and it'll be it'll begin at eleven o'clock on the dot. Eleven o'clock sharp. Be here, be here. Praise God. Anything else that I'm missing that I should tell them? These guys that are hitting me with the music back here. All right, they're gonna sing one last song as we close out today. Again, worship and praise God. Encourage your brothers and sisters. Reach out to someone that may be afraid and fearful of, right. of what's going on and, and tell them what Jesus can do for Amen. them. Amen. Praise God. Your life through my life.